tension. The tension is caused usually by fear and, and not having an understanding really of what we're doing. Okay, we gotta get rid of the tension. The tension is bad for photography. I can only tell you what it's been for me. The tension is from the fear, from the fear you're gonna miss something, you're not gonna find something, or your fear of how people perceive you in the street with a camera. Oh, he sees me. Oh, oh, gee, he thinks I photographed his wife. Oh, and whatever it is. And we're fighting those terrible things our mothers told us. Don't point. Don't get too close. Don't stare. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't interrupt. Oh, you're invading the privacy. And so we have all this tension and emotion, which is terrible to have, emotion, you know, connected to emotion to our photographs. It can be difficult at times, you see what I mean? So we got this tension. So you need to go and sit on a rock in the woods and take my advice and really start to think things true, think through and realize, okay, we're not invading the privacy if there's no intent, we're using them for props, we don't know what they're talking about, we're not listening, we don't care, okay? They're just props, nothing personal here, no one's going to get hurt. If everybody knew what was going on in my mind when I was taking the picture, because of what I was thinking was such a noble and wonderful thing, and that's how I think, they would come over and hug me if they knew that. But they don't know that. They just think you're some sneak from the insurance company. And you've got to deal with it. So deal with it. Don't look like a photographer. Let's get rid of the tension. Let's get rid of the showing off with cameras. Let's disappear. But get rid of the tension. Another part of the tension comes from your inability to effectively react to a particular instant in a situation that you want to react to. Your finger can't keep up with your brain. Why is that? Because you don't practice. Practice? People say practice? Yeah, try this out. You see another photographer on the road someplace, on the street, you know, you go up to him and say, hey, how are you getting, which, you know, let's be friends, how are you doing? Yeah, what's your practice schedule like? How, you know, how do you do for practice? And the guy will look at you like you're nuts. There's no practice. There's practice in basketball. There's practice in golf. There's practice in dancing. There's practice in arithmetic. But there's no practicing in photography. That's amazing. We'll just, we'll just go out and do it. Just, we'll just go out and do it. Yeah, but you're missing every shot. Your brain tells you to push the button, and you're way off. You're still focusing. You still haven't figured out the framing, and you don't even know how to operate the camera. And so people ask me, what's a good secret? What's some good advice? And, you know, I tell them, go practice with a camera. What are you talking about? Go practice with a camera. How long does it take you to frame that guy on that wall there? How long does it take you to focus on that standpipe there? And how close should you get to get it the way you want it in that particular lens? Get familiar with the camera. And when you do that, it's going to do two things. You're going to be able to nail the subject when your brain wants it, and you're going to be relieving a lot of tension of guilt and insecurity that the camera is laying on you. The camera's the boss. Oh, yeah, you don't know how to operate me. You better push this button. You better use this. And it's a terrible nightmare for you. So you get the simple camera. You get things simpled out, worked out simply. You practice with it. You practice with the trumpet, don't you? You practice with the guitar until your fingers bleed. Why? Because if you're not an idiot, you want to give a wonderful performance. He's shaking with the camera. He's shaking. You see that? You see how I'm trying to shake you people up? What do you mean, no practicing? Well, I'm so good. I'll just go out. I don't want to influence my body. I did. No, no, no. No. Come on. You want to have fun with photography? It's when you get the shots, when your brain tells you, and you instantly push the button, and you're ready, and you're flowing, and you're a part of the crowd, you're a part of the subject, and you're so damn happy about doing this, because you're allowed to. You have this tremendous and wonderful responsibility on your shoulders now when you decided to be an effective documentary photographer. And the purpose, to create a photograph that can be understood and admired by all people. And it has the power and the thought from the photographer in the photograph that provides an emotional response to the viewer for having seen that. And the viewer wants to see it again and again and again because it's therapy and he wants to put it up on his wall and he wants to share it with his friends. But he can bring it from his brain at any time he wants, like an old song when he was 16. And it will stay with him for the rest of the life. 
And because of your dedication and your love and practice, you have provided a wonderful testament, a wonderful document that people all over the world can share. Don't you get it? This is what it's about. It ain't about you. The picture's never about you. It's for them. You made it. You made it with your heart and your brain. And you sweated it out by combining all these elements in a wonderfully effective manner. It's from you totally, but it's always for them. And if it's good for them, it's fantastic for you.